Also, uh, what, what, what's your badge number, by the way, man? No, what's your badge number? No, no. No, you hit that man. You punch that man. You punch that man. Back up! No, no, no. Back up! I, 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 Back up! Hey, you, you're this not is a around here where he threw something! Back up! Okay, hey, don't touch me though! What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel, Sam Joaquin Jr. And as you can see, we have an absolutely crazy video that we're going to be going over today. This video is coming to us from Shad Money, and he's the man that's recording these officers take down this suspect, or whatever he is. Now, as you can see, the guy that's on bottom is screaming because he has three guys on top of him while he's handcuffed, and his face is in the dirt. Now, I'm no law enforcement officer or expert, but from what I could tell, these guys seem to have him pretty secured and arrested already. So for all the extra antics that start happening after the camera comes on, it just makes you wonder if these guys were in the right, if these officers were doing their job, why get so frustrated at the man recording? Now, like I said, this video is coming from Shad Money and it takes place in Huntsville, Alabama, and it involves the Huntsville Police Department. The main officer in question here is Officer Cunningham of the Huntsville Police Department. He's the one that gets up off this guy's neck, comes over to the guy that's recording, and literally slaps his camera, pushes him back, and harasses him for recording the interaction. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let's watch the video and break a few things down. We got you. Also, uh, what, what's your badge number, by the way, man? No, what's your badge number? No, no. No, you hit that man. You punch that man. You punch that man. You, you punch that man. Open the door. Open the door, y'all. Open the door. Oh, you got a nigga, my nigga. Open the door, I can't breathe. Oh, stop. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe, bro. I swear to God, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I get these calls, little man. Got it. Back up! Back up! I, 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 back up! I, you, you, this is the scene around here where he threw something. Back up! Okay, hey, yo, don't touch me though. Don't touch me. Back up! Hey, look, you, you need to calm down, back man. Up. Get your, now. Get your hand on my face. Back up hand now! Hand back, up now. back up now! We need church this area! Hey, hey, back hey, up! Back up! Hey, get your hand on back me. Get your hand on me now! now. I got, I got this you. is an area we need to search! Back up! Do your job. You ain't got to touch me. Back up! Back up! He threw drugs around here. I'm 10 feet away. I'm 10 feet away. Go ahead. Don't touch me now. I'm 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 put your hands behind your back. Y'all need to take. Stop, sir. Help me now. Sir. You need to calm down, man. Put your hands behind your back. Look what y'all doing, man. Look what y'all doing, man. Oh, now, now you hit. Stop fucking resisting. Now y'all punching me. Stop fucking resisting. I ain't resisting. Here you are. Put your hand Give me your fucking arm. Give me your fucking arm. All right, I'm not going to sit here and act like I know how law enforcement procedures are supposed to work or how they go about things. I do know what it takes to subdue somebody, and I understand how positioning and using your body weight can work in holding someone down. Trust me. I've done it now for the last 10 plus years of my life. Um, wrestling my whole life and jujitsu, uh, you learn a couple things. And that's why even police officers will come into jujitsu gyms and learn how to properly subdue somebody and hold them down. With that being said, they have tools that restrain people. And as you can see, they have the bodies to help restrain somebody. So if they're going about their business and their job, what is the reason they are frustrated about this man recording? It's his First Amendment right to record any and all police interactions that are out in public. And as you can tell, this is out in public. So what the heck's the big issue here? In reality, Officer Cunningham is probably doing something that he's not supposed to be doing. Or they probably don't have all the details or answers to this situation, and they just arrested this man. Now look, he is saying that there could be paraphernalia around. This guy could have dumped something on the in the process of him being arrested. And if that were the case, then why not cordon off the entire area? You already have three officers on this guy, and I'm sure you've already called for backup. 
why not cordon off the area with crime scene tape like you're supposed to do? If there's one thing I do know about law enforcement procedures is if there is a open and active crime scene and police need to do their investigations, they are supposed to put up that crime scene tape, not just, oh, get the hell back. You're not supposed to be here, blah, blah, blah. Because in reality, there's no rule, law, code, or anything that they can enforce to stop this man from recording them, especially if they're out in public. Hey, go, up here, man. Put your fucking arm behind your back right now. Y'all need to calm down. Stupid. Y'all need to calm down. Hey, help him, help him. Tell me how you do your job. Yeah, tell me how to do my job, you fucking idiot. Protect the curve. Put your hand behind your back. Put your hand behind your back. Who else you got? What This is the dumbass who intervened. In the venue. Yeah. He doesn't like to listen. She's fine because she stayed back. If she actually has a brain. I'm like this fucking idiot. I'm winning the fucking way. Do what you did, man. The same is not secure. He threw dope. Where? Where? I don't know. It's somewhere around this area. What do they got to do with me? Because they're trying to get you out of here because this scene is not secure. I can be tempted out. I'm not fucking with That's not a fucking place. You're stupid you look. Oh, my God. Hey, the fucking crap. And just like that, Officer Cunningham becomes the biggest piece of shit tyrant that is at the Huntsville Police Department. Guys, this was a clear-cut First Amendment rights violation. The Supreme Court has already gone over if recording police in the course of their duty is a First Amendment protected activity, and they have ruled in that favor of the people's rights. So for Officer Cunningham to get off this guy's neck, step all the way over, come and engage this man when he wasn't really doing anything wrong, he was simply recording, verbalizing to the suspect or the person that they have in custody that this is being recorded for his safety. Then these officers lose their minds all because this guy asked for their name and badge numbers. Make that make sense, you know what I'm saying? Like I said before, the Supreme Court has already ruled on this and even with the verbalizing of things towards police officers. In the Supreme Court case of Houston versus Hill, Mr. Hill started yelling things at the police officers to distract them from arresting his friend. And the Supreme Court case ruled in favor of Mr. Hill, thus creating case law that states words, speech, and things as such cannot be construed as interfering, obstruction, or delaying. And if states try to make a law that prohibits these things, case law is supposed to take precedence over things like this. And I guarantee you, Officer Cunningham, who faced some type of punishment, I'm sure, this is a pretty damning video. Now, regardless of the guy that's on the ground that's getting arrested, I don't know the situation there. I'm sure there's some bigger things going on there. That's not what I'm discussing here. What I'm discussing is the guy recording. He got his rights violated simply because he was verbalizing to these officers that they should identify themselves and give up their names and badge numbers. That's no reason to be arrested. In fact, it is your right to do things like this. 
Big shout out to Shad Money for recording this video and taking the arrest. There was nothing really much he could do about not taking the arrest. I mean, other than backing down and going freaking 100 yards away, according to Officer Cunningham, because this was apparently too close. But as you can see, he was only like 10, 20 feet. Regardless of that, big props to him for standing his ground, trying to record and telling this officer to get his hands off him. Make sure you all head over to his channel, subscribe, and let him know Sam Joaquin Jr. sent to you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching.